What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to purchase a profit account with 5% as. So if you like to purchase an account with them, you should watch this video. And I personally recommend this profit because a friend of mine has actually gotten payouts from there. But I think you should also do your own personal research to know if this profit fits into your criteria or your trading model. Now I'm going to be using crypto to purchase this account. I'm going to be using USDT on Bybit. Now if you want to know how to purchase USDT on Bybit, you can watch the video I pulled to show you step by step process on how to purchase USDT on Bybit, which you are going to be using to purchase this Profem account. Now the reason is because as we all know, our Naira card is not accepted internationally, so you can only use crypto. But I don't know if this Profem accepts wire transfer, but I'm going to be using crypto in this video. So if you want to see step by step process on how to purchase an account of 5 pesetas, I think you should watch this video to the, to the end. So let's dive right into your video. So when you log into your 5 percenters account, this is the dashboard that you are going to see. Now when you get here, you select the program that you want to purchase, alright? So if you have not signed up with 5 percenters, you can use the link in the description box below to sign up with 5 percenters. So once you come here, you go to overview, I'm already on overview, as you can see my name, welcome, thank god Kedechi. So I'll choose the program I want, I want high stakers, which is a two step program. So I select high stakers. Now if you say please choose currency and funding options to begin with. I will go for USD. Now the option I want to go for is um 5k. Alright, so you can see they have from 5k to 100 k I'll go for the 5k. So it puts your email right here, I put your phone number. So you just fill in your address right here. Then you put your postal code. Then you select your country, which is Nigeria, obviously. So you click on I agree to terms and condition. I declare that all information filled are correct and correspond to government issued ID. Alright, so make sure the information here are corresponding with your government issue ID. So in case of when you want to do verification, so you don't have any problem with them. Now after doing all this, you click on place order now. So as you can see, review details of your payment. So review your details. You review to see if what you added was actually correct. All right. So these are the payment options. You can use Stripe. You can use Visa or Mastercard, which doesn't work in Nigeria. You can use um, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and other sort of stuff. You can also use PayPal. Now you can use Confirmo. Now this Confirmo is where you have the option of using USDT or any other cryptocurrency. So that's the one I'm going to be clicking. Click on it, Confirmo. Then next thing you need to do is to click on purchase now so what i'll be paying right here is 39 usd all right so the coin i'm going to be using is theta usd which is usdt which is this one so i don't know why this one is let me go back so you can pay with theta usd or us usd coin or tronics so these are the options you have to pay with crypto so these are the three options that you have Alright, so all you do is to click on Theta USD, which is the one I'm going to be using in this video. Now you select the network you want to use. As you can see, Tron is very, has a very high gas fee or network fee. I don't know what they call it. So we'll be using Arbitrum 1. You click on Arbitrum 1. Now this is the total amount you need to send to this wallet. Alright, send your USDT on, on the Arbitrum 1 blockchain, otherwise your funds will be lost. So you need to take you need to pay very close attention to this thing don't send it to another um another blockchain all right because we have arbitron one we have um trc 20 so those kind of stuff so you need to pay close attention right here so what you need to do is to go to your bybits app right now now i'm supposed to use my bybits app on my system but i don't know why my bybits app is not logging in in my system so i'm going to be using my phone to complete the payments to doria so let me just copy the wallet address once I copy the wallet, I can paste it somewhere. Then you also copy the amount you want to send so I don't make mistake. So right now, I'll log in to my Bybit account on my phone and I'll complete this payment. And click on confirm once I'm done with this payment. So now, on my Bybit app, what I need to do is to go to my assets. I've already showed video on how to do this, how to purchase accounts on Bybit. So once I go to my assets, this is my assets profile. I can check where my money is. Let me see where my USDT is. If it's on funding or on the file trading. So as you can see right here, my USDT is in funding. So I'll click on the funding 
option. And once I click on the funding option, then I'll click on withdraw. So once I click on withdraw, I'll select USDT. Now after selecting USDT, if I don't want to input this wallet address, I copy it. I can just scan the QR code on the website, which is this thing right here. And you can use this thing that looks like um, like a triangle or a rectangle. I don't know what to call that. But that's what you, you use to scan it. So I'll just input the amount. Let me scan it in short. Let me just scan it. So I'll put it on my screen right now. So as you can see, after scanning it, the wallet address has been transferred successfully to this place. So what you need to do is to select the network. Remember that we chose Arbitron 1. So don't make a mistake. Select Arbitron 1, which is this one right here. Now, amount I want to send is about 39.142111 USDT. So let me input it. Alright, so after putting the amount, it looks like Bybit does not have any other option to put another number. So I'm going to be sending one 3.13 39.142 one all right i don't know if i should be doing this but well. let me just try it out in case if it doesn't work then i'm going to cut that their support then they will tell me the amount i need to send extra all right so that's what i'm going to do now i'm actually taking a risk right here <laughs> because i might lose this or i'm not going to lose it because if he wants to recruit to his as long as you send it to the right address if it doesn't as long as you send it to the right address even if it's below the amount they will tell you how much you need to send extra, all right, to couple up the amount you didn't send. So this is the limit that Bybit has right here. I don't know why they have this kind of limit. But as you can see, they were charging me $1 for this transaction. So the amount I'm receiving on this account right now is 39.1421 USDT, all right. The one one at the back of it, there's no option to put it right here. So the withdrawal fee will be charged from my account, not for from this. So this amount I'm sending is going to go through. Then the transaction fee will be deducted from my own account. So I think that's all. I got the details, the wallet address and the network, which is Arbitron 1. Then I'll click on withdraw. So they sent the code to my email. So I'm going to go to my email right now and get the code, then I'll log in. So the code has been sent to my email, I'll just type in the code. Then you also enter your Google Authenticator code. So this is actually if you have a two-step verification on your Bybit account, which I recommend you should do to avoid getting hacked. So you also put in your Authenticator code that will send to your Google Authenticator app. So after doing that, you click on Confirm. So withdraw application submitted in process. Please head to the assets page to check the status. You click on OK. So now you go back to your go back to five percenters. All right. Now on your five percenters right here, you see paid. So this is the receipts that your order has been confirmed. Invoice which has been paid. Thank you for using confirm. Okay, you can go to your invoice review. All right. So this is when the invoice was created, and this is the amount you sent. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of this. Now once that is that is done, you click on back to merchant. Now, as you can see right here, my account has been activated. So this is the account I have right now. Five thousand dollars is the account. Five thousand dollars account. As you can see, the status is active. Balance. I've not made any profit here, so that's why the balance is zero dollar. So I can go to my dashboard right now. So profit target is four four hundred dollar daily loss. I'm um, four thousand. Daily loss level. Alright, that's not that's not it. I don't think that was correct because my daily loss should be about. Mm, I think five percent, which is same for four hundred dollars, but I don't know why it is writing zero dollar left. I think this there's a little glitch in the system to fix that. Profitable days, which is three minimum trading days. Account type is evaluation. Account platform is MetaTrader Five. Account size is five thousand dollars. Status is active. Program end. There's no end. Okay, that's why I love five percent. There's no end. You can trade this account as much as you want. Forbidden practice. Let's look at the forbidden practice. So you can just go through this thing and read it. I'm not going to be reading it in this video. I'm going to look at it later on. Uh, inactive days. Don't be don't be inactive for 30 days. Alright, so unless the account, I think they I don't know what they will do to the account. Is it they will delete the account or something like that? I don't know what they will do, but don't be inactive for 30 trading days. Alright. So this this profile I just purchased right now. I'm going to be showing you guys here on this channel. I'm going to document everything i do on this on this profit account so i'm going to document my journey here on this channel so if you like to see those videos if you like to see where i document my journey on this channel don't forget to subscribe like the video and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i start dropping the videos youtube notify you and you can also share the channel with your friends and family so that they will also come and see someone who is doing it live 
all right so if you want to sign up with five percenters use the link in the description box below to sign up and if you do that i think they'll give me a commission all right so this is the end of the video don't forget to subscribe like turn on the notification bell stay tuned guys so i'll see you guys in the next video